What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, this past weekend, the All Star, uh, you know, event was memorable in my opinion, especially because of the fact we had the top seventy-five um, players of all time presented, and you know, it was a, a very joyous occasion to have all the top seventy-five, well, technically seventy-six players uh, announced. And a lot of them were there, but unfortunately, unlike the top 50 presentation some 25 years earlier in Cleveland, uh, a lot of them has since passed on. At that time, 49 to 50 were still alive. Only Pete Maravich had passed away. But since then, starting with Will Chamberlain and onward, George Mike and uh, David Busher, we've lost so many of them since then. And so, some were not there because they were deceased, and some were there because of whatever reason, scheduling conflicts, I don't know. Um, but one conspicuous absence was Scottie Pippen. And I talked about that on my other channel, Too Raw for Sports. But one person who was not on a top 50 team 25 years ago, and many of us believe that was an absolute travesty, was on the top 75 list, and that is Dominique Wilkins. And uh, Dominique Wilkins was one of the greatest players and one of the greatest scorers this league has ever seen. And he's, in my opinion, 1A and 1B with Vince Carter as the greatest dunkers this league has ever seen. Great scorer, 12 straight years of averaging at least 24 points a game. Um, came back from an ACL rupture. To average 29.9 points per game during the 92 93 season. And he slowly, you know, evolved his game into being a little bit more perimeter efficient and able to knock down some threes and improve his passing ability as well. But anyway, he said something interesting on the podcast, man. He said that when it comes to the whole Scottie Pippen thing, you know, him being upset about not getting a enough attention or whatever, you know, as far as being a great player when it comes to the Bulls. He says he doesn't understand it. He does not understand why Scottie Pippen is so upset. He said, quote, in an interview with uh, the Windy City Podcast, he said, quote, it's puzzling, and I don't understand why about Scottie being so upset. When you win six championships, all that personal stuff goes out the window. Anytime you can win the way they won, as consistently as they won, six championships in, what, seven, eight years, what are you complaining about? And as I've said before, I think all of the shit Scotty's talking about with the, uh, you know, what he's complaining about, I'm as good as Mike, and, you know, I think I should be getting more credit, blah, 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 blah. All of that's bullshit. I think Dennis Rodman hit the nail on the head. It's about the money that Mike got that Scotty didn't get. That's what the problem is. It's, it's the $10 million that Mike supposedly got for doing the last dance and Pippen didn't get anything. It's the $33 million one-year contracts that Mike was getting at the last tail end of his Chicago Bulls career while Pippen was getting one or two million a year. But that was Pippen's fault for signing that contract. Even management told him you should not sign this contract long term because you're pigeonholing yourself into getting money that's going to be beneath your value as this contract ages. But he signed it anyway. And it's not Mike's fault that you weren't able to garner revenue outside of basketball the way he was able to. Mike was only making two to four million dollars a year. He didn't have a big contract. He was one of the lowest paid, if not the lowest paid superstar in the league. But he more than made up his money when it when it came to endorsements. You know? Now, I'm gonna tell you something else too. And I stick by this. I think if you swap Dominique Wilkins <clears throat> with Scottie Pippen, their first championship would have came in 1990 and not 91, and they would have won at least one more championship. I think they I think Mike possibly doesn't retire in '93. And they might have won eight, nine cha championships. And I'm not, like, just exaggerating. Um, 
Now, was Dominique the defender Pepper was? No. But playing in the tri- playing with the Chicago Bulls, he would have been an improved defender. Plus, you got the guy of Dominique's athleticism and scoring ability playing with Michael Jordan's. It, you got to pick your poison, man. That would have been a one-two combo that would have dominated the NBA for at least 10 years. You know? But you look at reality, Dominique Wilkins didn't have in his prime a guy like uh, Jordan nor Pippen. I mean, the best player he played with was Doc Rivers with the Atlanta Hawks. You know, Doc Rivers, John Conkac. Um, I think he played one year with Kenny Smith. Uh, old Moses Malone. You know, Kevin Willis. That's about it. He didn't have a great, another great all-star, perennial all-star he was playing with, man. So, yeah. From Dominique's perspective, I played all these years, struggled to get to a deep playoff run, let alone the finals, and you're complaining about you're not getting enough recognition compared to Michael Jordan. You won six championships, you ungrateful bitch. So, yeah, I can understand that. 